So you've spent the day hunting for evidence of volcanoes on Banks Peninsula and Chris has managed to find you some cool looking rock here. It's called rhyolite. Now Chris, why is it such a funky strange sort of a shape? The uh, column shape that you can see here is caused by cooling. So when the uh, rhyolite was uh, erupted it uh, formed a dome shape um, because it's quite sticky and viscous material it doesn't flow very far so it creates a dome a little bit like a blob of toothpaste and as it cools cracks form from the outside edge in towards the center and as those cracks grow they produce these column shapes so from the shape of the column and the angle of the column we can work out the outside shape of the dome and that's how we can tell it's a dome a good experiment to, to try at home or school is to get a sheet of cardboard and a whole pile of kebab sticks, wooden sticks, and poke them into the cardboard, all over the cardboard so it's a little bit like a hedgehog, and then get the corners of the cardboard and twist it and turn it, and you'll see that the sticks move perpendicular to the cardboard. What we're seeing here are the kebab sticks, and from that we can work out the shape of the cardboard. Right, so we can see the surface against which it, it cooled down. Now, is there any other places where we can see joints like this? There's a few others on Banks Peninsula. There's uh, some very nice columnar jointing at uh, Castle Rock, which is a, a great climbing place. Um, the prominent uh, cliff face on Quail Island, which is a flat-lying basalt uh, flow. Uh, down in uh, Dunedin, I think the, uh, the organ pipes are another example and if you go overseas there's a very famous one called the Devil's Causeway in Ireland. Okay so volcanoes can leave really distinctive features and provide a story as to how things have formed in the past. So you've learnt heaps about Banks Peninsula Volcano today. Join us tomorrow and come hunting for fossils down at Whitebrook Gorge.